Hey everyone, Trent here from Movie Nerds, and I'm with a special guest this evening. Who are you? I'm Julia. Imposter. Okay, so we've just come from a special screening. What have we seen? Red Sparrow. Yep, the latest flick from Jennifer Lawrence and 20th Century Fox, the Black Widow movie we didn't know we needed or that was existing. What do we think about it? You'll find out after this. <laughs> Now, I said it's a Black Widow movie that we didn't know existed. It's not, but if it were to happen, this is exactly what it would be. So Red Sparrow is about this ballerina who gets injured, things go really wrong, and she kind of gets coerced into joining this Sparrow program because she witnessed a murder and blah, blah, blah. A whole lot of espionage, a whole lot of intrigue. It's like a Cold War setting in the modern world. And yeah, I, it, I can't do it justice describing it. There was that many different twists and turns and just all these different things. What did you think of it? absolutely like hands down interesting it's not what i expected at all no i was i was blown away by it in terms of in terms of how intricate it was mm -hmm. I, I thought it was very i don't know there, it wasn't what i was expecting i expected it to be a lot more action based even though i knew it was going to be very espionage -y. yeah it was very heavily espionage instead of action based it was kind of like a bond film minus all the action and just a little bit more kind of psychological torture a bond film from the villain's perspective yeah finally the kgb win <laughs> um yeah it was it, there was it was a very psychological film like a lot of a lot of a lot of really really strong themes and if you are for the faint at heart D yeah as a faint-hearted <laughs> queasy person yeah warning yeah a lot of a lot of i wouldn't say gore but i would say a lot of really intense scenes that just yeah just intense moments mm. that can drag you in because of the sound and the music yeah. they used and the detail they went into it. And the expression. There was a lot yes. of expression. Uh, and we'll get onto that in a minute. But uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of really, even not, not even the gore, just the themes. Like there was a lot of rape. There was a lot of, um, there was torture. There was uh, psychological manipulation. It was just really great. The whole Sparrow program, seeing that in action and seeing what they made these spies turn into, that really kind of engrossed me. But I could see why a lot of other reviewers and a lot of people are saying it's a masochistic film, misogynistic, and generally the themes, it makes people feel uncomfortable. Yes, and I think that was the goal of a lot of the movie, was to sit there and really get you into Jennifer Lawrence's character and feel how uncomfortable she is mm. and her kind of grasping at straws for control. Yeah. Speaking of J-Law, I'm not a fan of her. I'm not a fan of her either. Mm. But I was actually really impressed with this. Yeah. She she played she played uh she played the uh, the main character who was portrayed as vulnerable, um soft spoken, gentle, uh soulless, porcelain, mm. no expression. That's a role fit for Jennifer Lawrence. Because yep. she's terrible, but she did really, really she well on this. Really well. And actually, I say she's terrible, but I think she acted, actually acted really quite well. I'm really impressed in how she kept up the Russian accent throughout mm. the whole film. I thought it was going to drop at one point where she went undercover, but yeah. no, it, it stayed quite true. Yeah, she did very well. And actually, all the cast did really well with their, um, with their respective accents and roles. Mm. I mean, I was actually really surprised to see Jeremy Irons in the film as well. I didn't know he was going to be in it. Yeah. And um, he played a very intriguing, interesting character. He didn't really have the Russian accent. He was just kind of mumbling. But it kind of sounded like he had the accent. It kind of sounded like he had the accent, yeah. Yeah. And, um, I, yeah, I was really surprised with how Jen, Jen acted in this, this entire thing. And her body. Oh, my God. Yeah. She got, she got into shape. It's stunning. The trailer showed this bikini shot. And until you actually see that entire scene in action and just all these other scenes that yeah. have even full frontal nudity my god you appreciate her even more because she was just absolutely in phenomenal form for mm. this and i mean it, it goes to show that the whole sparrow program it fitted within the context of you are the most beautiful people you're designed to infiltrate and disrupt mm. communities so at least it wasn't at least it kind of fit into what they wanted so she got into great shape and speaking of nudity Full frontal. Mm. Yes, a lot. Yeah, for both the ladies and the males. Yeah, there was yeah. there was there was plenty of it, and it was quite graphic. Very. A lot of it. I was really the very the very first time um, Jennifer's kind of naked, and it's in a really erotic thing. There's a really grotesque and gruesome murder that appears like straight after, after. it. 
a lot of the imagery, this whole sexualization and kind of juxtaposes when the violence actually occurs. Mm. Like it was just, oh yeah, it makes me, yeah. it makes me churn just thinking about it. But some really beautiful shots, cinematography. Cinematography was absolutely lovely. Mm. Like the panning shots and you really did feel like you're in Russia at some points, just the the doom and gloom almost of the stereotypical high built high housing dense areas with no population no population no but then like the moving on to budapest where you get the more detailed in the streets yeah and then on to london and that aspect like you see the that change through and the color almost come in as well in points yeah so is that kind of acted like a it represented the growth of the character, I thought, because yes. it from cold, sterile Russia. No offense, Russians, but then moving on to like Budapest when she starts becoming happier and all these different things start yeah. to happen. Yeah, but I I really like the cinematography and just all the shots. There were some, especially very very early in the movie. Um, there's a scene where they're walking through. Um, they're walking through this dark forest at night and the lights are just shining through and it's these yeah, beautiful it's beams. Beautiful. There was just some really stunning shots. And I, I don't think this movie's gonna get enough credit for some of the cinematography that's in it. And the music as well. I think that did play a crucial part in a lot of it. It did have that stereotypical build up um, and that suspense aspect to it, so you know something was coming, but you didn't know whether it was going to be something violent or something mm. psychological or something completely different and they used a lot of um sometimes they used a lot of silence mm. like there, there were some very key scenes where nothing they they decided not to do any music just to get the audience guessing and it really engrossed it engrossed me really in that scene because mm. i was like oh god what's going to happen here yep. because there were just so many different plot points and so many different things going on at one going on at once that yep. anything at one time could have just clicked clicked while we're talking about plot points the movie felt very drawn out. Oh, it, it did. There are points where you feel like, why are they showing this this scene? Why are they doing this? Why are they going into that much detail? It does link around, but when it does link around, you then look at other scenes and just go, oh, do they have to do that for that long? Mm. And yeah, so the length of the scenes, whilst it felt like it dragged, there was nothing that wasn't meant to be there. Yeah. It, Every scene was crucial. Yeah. They could have cut some moments out of the scenes to make it go a lot smoother. But once you get to the end, you see how all these things that you think, oh, why are they doing this now? Mm. They all kind of fall into place. And it's, it's a great reveal. I'm really happy with how, how the, 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 the ending the took ending place. The ending was really satisfying. Like the movie yeah. itself was, it's quite a satisfying movie. Yeah. And there was a, yeah, it, it just felt like it went for that half hour too long. Mm. And there were, t there, was a t there were a couple of times when I thought, boom, that's going to be the end. And then it just kept going. going. Like Pirates of the Caribbean. It just keeps <laughs> going and going and going. I really enjoyed the movie. I did feel like there were some flaws to it, but it was very, it was very well shot and beautifully mm. executed. Really great plot. And you, you enjoyed it as well. Aside I enjoyed from it a few... as well. Aside from a few moments. but Yeah, a few moments of gore. Gore. I don't do well with gore. Yeah, but for a psychological, psychological for a psychological thriller. thriller that has that Cold War almost espionage. espionage yeah, what we would love James Bond to probably be, mm. or Black Widow, or Black Widow. But yeah. yeah, definitely the Black Widow movie we all deserve. Mm. Yeah, so I I really enjoyed it. You enjoyed I really it? enjoyed it. Awesome. So I I actually recommend you go see it, and if you are fan of heart, maybe wait till DVD. But yeah, or take a friend. Yeah, take a friend so you can hold their hand. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm Trent. I'm Julia. And until next time, we'll see you nerds at the movies.